Hey, it's Nate Story with Bright Agri Tech, and today I'm going to talk with you a little bit about Zipgrow tower spacing, whether it's in our mass configurations or whether you're using Zipgrow towers in a single uh, facing row configuration like our green walls. A lot of folks ask about tower spacing. Now, your tower spacing is going to depend entirely on your configuration. We use a mass configuration with our towers, which basically means that all of the towers are facing south, and they're kind of in these big blocks together. And uh, we do a five-week turn, so we actually have five towers in each column. And uh, as they mature, uh, this one's a little bit out of order right now, but um, as they mature, we keep scooting those towers to the rear. The young ones go in at the front, the old ones come out of the back. And um, that allows us to kind of maximize the light at the very end of the column. But um, when it comes to tower spacing, I always say in greenhouses you want to allow around 30% of your greenhouse minimum for your aisle space and for access. So always figure that about 30% of your greenhouse is just going to be, uh, you know, aisles allowing you to get into your plants, allowing you to move around. Um, the rest of that you can do to plants. And we typically give each tower around two and a half square feet per tower. So with Zipgrow towers, uh, that two and a half square feet per tower, um, it can be fairly variable uh, from side to side and from front to back. So depending on what kind of space you have, uh, you can easily give your towers more space from the front of the tower to the back of the tower or from one side to the other. Now we've found that we really like our towers around 16 inches front to back. That's on the center to center. Okay, and we really like to give ourselves about 20 to 22 inches between towers, uh, somewhere in that range, because it makes it really easy for us to get in and access the rows to move towers around and to spray. So we can get back in here, we can check for insect pests, uh, we can spray, we can do whatever we need to do, because we've actually got nice access to all of our rows. Um, and that's kind of a fun thing, you know, with NFT or with some of these other techniques, you can't move through the plants that easily. So, uh, you know, with zip growth towers, kind of uh, that, that spacing, that two and a half square feet per tower spacing, will give you plenty of room to get around, to access towers, to move things around, monitor things, but will still be really, really productive for you. So, um, that spacing can be variable, though, like I said before. Some folks like to do it 18, some folks like to do it 20 inches front to back and maybe less, 12 inches side to side, something like that. So there's lots of room there for you to kind of configure them however you want. If you're just figuring around two and a half square feet per tower, and you're not getting too crazy close, it's all gonna work out. So it's not something to worry about too much. Do it however is easiest, best, and most accessible for you. So there's, uh, that's how we space these with our mass configuration. If you guys have watched our green wall video, you'll see that those are in a uh, single facing row configuration. And um, we've got a couple of really fun configurations uh, that we're playing with and uh, that we'll talk about definitely later on. But you know, the nice thing about Zipgrow towers is that you can take them and you can configure them however you like. You can put them on walls, you can put them on fences, you can mass them together like this for big production numbers. Uh, you can really do whatever you want with them and they grow quite nicely. So for green walls and kind of just single facing row configurations, you can space them a lot tighter. So ours out there are spaced at 12 inches because we're growing really kind of big bushy crops like rye um, and barley. But if uh, you want to grow something more compact like lettuce, you can space them, oh, about six inches center to center. That's about two inches between each tower. And it forms this really tight, solid wall of vegetation. So uh, with single row configurations, you can space them a whole bunch of different ways, and it all works out really nicely. So that's a quick overview of spacing. And the important thing to remember is that even with kind of a generous two and a half square feet spacing per zip row tower, you're still getting about three times more production than you could out of any horizontal technique. So uh, by and large, you know, they're just an awesome way to filter your system water. They're a great way to produce, and they're really accessible. So a lot of folks ask what they get when they buy a tower. So uh, this is uh, basically what comes if you were to order a single tower with a pulling hook. Uh, this is uh, what comes in that package. So you get a 5 